So it's time to try a lemon and an apple together. So I've got my um, lemon and apple sitting here next to me and I'm going to start out by drawing it. And again, I'm going to put a frame in here, which kind of gives you a point of reference. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so let's start with my lemon. Lemons are hard. Bananas are hard too, I think. I think because they're such a simple shape and if it's turned straight on, it's really hard because it's just a circle. So then you're really dependent on creating the form with your values. Okay, so here's my shadow. And right behind this lemon, it's kind of an old lemon, so it's a little crinkly, is this lopsided apple. It comes right behind it. If you make a mistake, don't panic or don't worry. Looks like I'm gonna go right off that. Right there, it fit. Now this apple is super regular, but I'm gonna look at that shadow it wraps around here. There's one that wraps around, comes down. And while I'm at it down here, I'm gonna look at my cast shadow. It comes back in here. And my lemon cast shadow comes around. I went out of my square, but that's okay. Um, let's see, now I've got some more dark area back in here. Kind of have to blur my eyes because ap the apple has green in it. What you're really going to have to be careful if you're doing a red apple with green in it is um, a little stem sticking out of here. Is not to let the red and the green mix, so maybe use yellow instead of green on your apple. Okay, so we're going to start the same way. I'm going to start with my yellow for the lemon and paint, don't outline, okay? So we, and we talked about the difference, you're painting it and I'm moving my paint around. I'm using the Crayola again, so you need with you a pencil, obviously your paper, <laughs> and a paper towel for blotting. So there's my local or my main color, I'm going to mix a little bit of orange in here touch of orange up here and then down through here. Clean off my brush a bit. Move that orange around. Now while that's wet, I'm going to go back in with that purple shadow. Remember we talked about that? Going with a cool color. I'm going to go ahead right up into that apple. I'm trying to keep it all one shape. Shapes are good. And while I've got that cool just a little bit of a shadow, light or dark right there at the end. You have to be careful because I'm putting purple on yellow and it will get muddy really fast if you're not careful. Okay, so be careful of that. Now my red in the Crayola is super bright, so we want to tone that down and I have a little bit of green left over here from something. <laughs> so that's a little better. So it's kind of a little oranger and a little softer. So I'm going to start out and get some color in here. And if you don't want them to bleed, either let your lemon dry first or see that little edge of a white line. If you don't feel like you can control the pain enough to have that white line, keep that white line going, then let it dry for a minute. They won't bleed then. Painting, I'm trying to leave a little bit of a highlight right here. Okay, use that brush. While it's wet, I'm gonna come back in and anchor that down a little bit. Anchoring means it's sitting on something because all that yellow kind of bled down. So it's really sitting on that table when it's dark right under there. It makes it look like it's really seated there. So I'm going to go with a little darker red and it's to darken the red. I'm going to add a little bit of purple to it. Okay, because it's pretty darn dark along here and I want to work fairly quickly so that I'm not making really a line. See how that's makes a soft edge here, gets dark here. Oh, 
Um, let me clean my brush. Let me show you something. I want to make this a softer line. See how it's a hard line? So I just took a clean, dry brush and run it over it. See how that softens it a little bit? So that's a good thing to, a good little thing in your brain to keep in mind. So I'm going to take some more red down through here. See where it's bleeding into the yellow? It's okay. These are warm ups. Um, later, you, you might not like that and you would go with a drier brush, but right now we're just warming up. We're just trying to create the feeling of volume. I need more color here. And playing around, getting used to using that brush and moving that color around. So I'm going to add a little bit of yellow in here, not too much. Leave that highlight. Now, I have a little stem up there, so I'm going to take some orange and mix it with some blue. Notice I didn't, when I got my things wet, and you'll learn this from me, I never get the brown or the black wet. Make your brown, make your black. So this orange and blue together is going to make plenty of a, a brown stem for you. And really, it's just a mark. See, I push my brush. Remember those marks we made? Use that here. Push your brush, let it up make that mark there. Um, and I'm going to use a little bit of blue right in here. And I'm going to go back in just around this edge a little stronger. There, I think that's a little better. And I can take my dry brush if you want. Notice I'm kind of following the contour of the apple. I'm not making them straight up and down. The apple's curved, so I'm making my marks curved. Now, if this is annoying you right here, just blot it off and don't lose any sleep over it. <laughs> okay, so the last thing I'm going to do is go with that pretty little background I made before. I like that. Um, just a little bit of a violet back here to kind of give it a place. You know, I don't want to go darker than my um, shadow, though. So I'm going to bring some color. There. Maybe deepen up this a little bit now that it's sat for a second. So there's not much water in here, so it's going to stay dark. There. So a little still life of two pieces now. Give it a try. Find something that you can use. Um, I'll post a picture of this. You can use my picture or you can find pieces of fruit of your own. Green peppers are good. Apples are good. Oranges are really nice. Um, don't worry too much about texture and things. You're just looking for the lights and the darks and playing around with what colors make a darker area on a yellow because you can go light yellow and dark yellow but you can't get very dark on a yellow. So um, the color next to it, orange or red, to, will make it darker. Same with the red, um, you, yellow is not going to make it darker, but a, a little bit of purple or blue in with it. Now don't add green or it will get brown because <laughs> they're opposite colors.